Arkansas Governor's Quiz Bowl is brought to you in part by the Arkansas Division of Higher Education. Local broadcast of Arkansas PBS programming is made possible in part by Community Bakery. Scratch-made breads, pastries, cakes, treats, and locally roasted coffees served daily at two locations in Little Rock, 1200 Main and 270 Shackleford. The Arkansas Governor's Quiz Bowl is a statewide celebration and recognition of scholarship. As an Arkansas PBS tradition, the program has been testing students' knowledge and bringing future leaders into the spotlight since 1985. I want to thank everyone who participated in Quiz Bowl this year and congratulate those who have made it to the finals here today. Welcome to the Arkansas Governor's Quiz Bowl Association State Championships for 2022. I'm your host, Christina Munoz, and we are coming to you live from Arkansas PBS Studios in Conway. We have an exciting day today with 14 high school teams competing to see who will win this year's state championships. This Quiz Bowl broadcast is a bit of a marathon today. First up is the 2A state championship that will be followed by the 7A, 4A and 5A divisions. Then after a short break, we will be back with the 3A, 6A and 1A divisions in that order. Let's go over now to our resident Quiz Bowl expert, Linda Smith. Linda, you've been following Quiz Bowl closely for many years. Can you tell our audience what they can expect to see today? Sure. Thanks, Christina. A Quiz Bowl match is made up of four rounds. The first round is simply a 20-question toss-up round. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Round two again features toss-up questions. And if you buzz in and get one of those right, your team will receive four bonus questions worth five points each. The students may confer during the bonus questions. The third round is the lightning round. This is when I think things get interesting. The team that is behind at the end of round two gets first choice from three categories presented by the quiz master. They have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions for 10 points each, and if they get all 10 questions right, they receive a 20-point bonus. Any questions that a team misses, the other team can steal. It's an interesting round. I've seen a lot of games turn in round three, especially if the scores are close at the end of round two. Round four is back to 20 toss-up questions, and since there is a lot on the line, it can get pretty tense. Sounds like a lot of fun. Thank you, Linda. I'm sure we'll be hearing a lot more from you today. Now we're ready to introduce the teams for our 2A conference championship match between Haas Hall Bentonville and Lifeway Christian. I'm Jack, I'm a senior, and my favorite place is Jersey Shore, baby. <laughs> I'm Wyatt Corbin. I'm a senior at Hazel Academy, and I just like to give a big shout out to everyone supporting me. Hello, I'm Alex Muller in 10th grade at Hazel Academy in Bentonville. I'm an Eagle Scout, and good luck to all the teams here. Uh, I'm Jackson Corbin. I'm a sophomore at Hazel and Gil Vasquez. Hi, I'm Harsh Nanapaneni. I'm a senior at Hazel, and uh, I did lose at Mini Golf yesterday. <laughs> Uh, hi, my name is Paige Kelly. I'm a senior at Hustle Bentonville, and I really like mythology. Hi, my name is Ethan Bailey. I'm a junior, and I'm just glad to be here. Hi, my name is Maiden Sunkren. I'm a senior at Hustle Academy Bentonville, and I didn't lose at mini golf yesterday. Hi, I'm Ahwan. I'm a junior at Hustle Bentonville, and I like basketball. I'm Holland Glaze. I'm a junior at Hustle Academy Bentonville, and I'm going to crush a buzzer. <laughs> My name is Anjanette Levings, and I am the coach of the Haas Hall Bensonville team, and I have been gifted with an amazing group of kids. I'm Austin Sutherland. I'm in 11th grade, and I am the Foosh Master. Uh, my name is Emmanuel. I'm a 10th grader, and shout out to my mom. I'm Issa Fowler. I'm a junior. Go Lifeway. I'm Jackson Miller. I'm a senior. Go Lifeway. 
I'm Laura Tidwell, I'm the coach, and I want to say hi to Mr. Mosley, and uh, don't hurt yourself doing backflips today. An impressive group of competitors. So Linda, let's get you over here. Thank you so much for being with us all day today. So we just got to meet all of the students. What can we expect to see from these two teams today? Well, Christina, I think both of these teams are excellently coached. I think the teams have had a lot of experience because they've played a lot of matches to get here to the championship. And so probably we can expect a close game. I think the kids will do really well. Wonderful. It sounds so exciting. We love when they're close games. So thank you so much. And we'll be hearing more from you as the show goes on. It is now time. So let's turn it over to our quiz master, Steve Patterson, and find out who will be the 2A state champion of Quiz Bowl 2022. Steve? Round one. Well, welcome to the studios at Arkansas. PBS, and we're glad to not only have these teams here, we're glad to have spectators from across the state. Uh, long tradition uh, here at Arkansas PBS of uh, hosting Quiz Bowl. And uh, we've been with them the whole time, and they've been with us. So here we are, ready for this uh, matchup, this year's championship. We wish both these teams uh, good luck. You've met them already and uh, we're ready to be in play if y'all are. Everyone have their hand on their buzzers? All right, here we go with our first toss-up question for both teams. This American poet first attracted attention for his unconventional punctuation and phrasing. His first book, called The Enormous Room, is an autobiographical, autobiographical account of his time as a prisoner. He shunned the use of capital letters in his poetry. Who am I speaking of? Uh, Red Emanuel. Walt Whitman. No. Uh, Maidench. Thoreau. No, we were looking for E.E. E. Cummings. E.E. E. Cummings. Examples of it include the hydroxides of the alkali and alkaline earth metals and water... Hey. All right, uh, blue, Alex. Bases. Yes, that's correct. All right, question number three. Before entering politics to run for president of Ukraine, uh, blue, white. Vladimir Zelensky. You're right. Question number four. What medical term refers to the inflammation of the gums? Um, all right, uh, blue, Ethan. Gingivitis. That is correct. What minor but influential political party opposing the extension of slavery into the Western territories? Uh, Ahelan. No, nothing. No into the Western Territories arose during the pre-Civil War period of American history. All right, uh, Red, Asa. The Free Soil Party. You're absolutely right. You've made our governor proud uh, for uh, Asa knowing an answer there. All right, at her salon, Cubist artists mingled with expatriate American writers whom she dubbed the Lost Generation. Between World Wars I and II, this eccentric American writer's Paris home was their meeting place. Uh, Red Emanuel. Hemingway. No. Blue, that was all the question. Uh, Ahlan. Hurston. No, it's Gertrude Stein. Gertrude Stein. All right, question number seven. In the formula for finding the area of a trapezoid, what word describes the parallel sides of the... All right, Maidench. B1 and B2. No. Uh, Red Emanuel. Bases. Bases was what we were looking for. All right. What Swedish naturalist and explorer was the first to frame uh, principles for defining... All right, uh, Blue Ahilan. Linnaeus? 
You're absolutely right. She could hit a playing card thrown in the air. Uh, Red Asa. Annie Oakley. You're right. Very good. All right, got to flip the page here. And we're on question 10 already. This fictional character appears in Robert Louis Stevenson's Treasure Island as captain of a pirate ship. All right, uh, Blue Wyatt. Long John Silver. No. Name this 18th century pirate captain featured in a number of novels, television series, and films. Uh, Red Emanuel. Captain Hook. Well, it's Captain Flint. Captain Flint. Beautiful and just, he was the favorite of the Norse gods. Uh, all right, uh, Blue Madench. Boulder. Say it again for me. Boulder. Yes. All right, uh, we're going to do a math computation question. And uh, if anyone knows much about Quiz Bowl, you know we give the team a little extra time for math. In fact, we give them 20 seconds to work the math. Uh, and so here is the problem. What is the degree measure of the supplement of an angle measuring 135 uh, maidens? 45 degrees. Maidens, you anticipate well. That's exactly right. All right, question 13. What term in plant anatomy refers to the petals of a flower collectively which form the um, ahelan blue? Sepal. No, which form the inner delicate envelope of floral leaves. All right, Red Jackson. Bud. No, it's the Corella, Corella. This fourth century Roman Empire, emperor funded church building projects during his reign as a way to encourage Christianity's growth. Okay, uh, Blue Wyatt. Constantine. You're right. All right, question 15. What Division I football team won their third national title? Um, Blue Wyatt. Georgia. Uh, but more specific, please. University of Georgia. Still more specific. University of Georgia Bulldogs. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We were looking for both, so... Okay, question 16. What English writer and scholar born in Blumatan, South Africa? Uh, Blue Wyatt. Tolkien. You're right. Question 17. What name is given to the positive terminal of a voltaic cell or battery? Uh, Blue uh, Maidens. Anode. No. Uh, Red Asa. Cathode? Cathode is the correct answer. All right, you could have gone either way there. All right, let's see, question number 18. Early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy, uh, blue maidens. Wise. No. And wise, these words were penned by what fictitious, unschooled, but experienced homespun philosopher, a character created, uh, Red Austin? Uh, Benjamin Franklin? No. It's a fictional character we were looking for, so it is Poor Richard of Poor Richard's Almanac. All right, question 19. A function f is known to be continuous on the closed interval from a to b and differentiable on the open interval form uh, from a to b. What theorem guarantees that there exists a value c between a and b? Uh, blue ahelan. Mean value theorem? Yes. Nice. All right, and finally, question number 20, the last one of the round, states, Ebenezer Scrooge is perhaps the best example of this in all of literature. Name this type 
Blue Ahilan. Miser? No. Name this type of literary or dramatic character who undergoes an important inner change during the course of the story. I read Austin. Round character? It is called a dynamic character. All right, as I said, that's the end of the round. Do we have any challenges, coaches? None here, none over here. All right, so our score at the end of one is Haas Hall Bentonville 100 and uh, Lifeway Christian 40. So we're going to go to a break. This month on Arkansas PBS. This music was written 100 years ago, but it still speaks to our life now. Only on Arkansas PBS. summer for Blueberry's Clubhouse. We'll see a whole new crop of friends for the very best adventures in Arkansas. That's phenomenal! Good work, friends! We did it! Blueberry's Clubhouse returns this summer, only on Arkansas PBS. Oh, wow! This is wonderful! snacks here and we're going to tell stories and oh we're also going to uh, tell 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 stories I already said that let's talk about snacks um apples and bananas oh I think we're gonna have smoothies here oh this is also where I'm gonna meet my friends Max and Sophie and Chef Sean and This month in Passport on the PBS video app. Fix and pass two. This is the only way to travel. Nothing can stop us now. Yes. This changes everything. Oh, God. I never knew that. That was one revelation after another. New challenges. We have to find another way ahead. And romance is in the air. These and other shows from Arkansas PBS are available with Passport on the PBS video app. And welcome back to Quiz Bowl State Championships 2022. We are ready for round two, which is toss-up questions with bonuses. Let's go over to our quiz master, Steve Patterson. Steve? Round two. Well, welcome back to uh, the Studio C here at uh, Arkansas PBS. And we've got a good game going here for the 2A State Championship. Uh, we did have a couple of substitutions on the part of uh, Hassall Bentonville. Jack is in and Paige is in. It's good to have you all in for the bonus round. And uh, these teams are going to be competing now to get a toss-up and then the four-part bonus that are going to be worth five points each if they get them correct. All right, are you all ready? Emmanuel, I'll be looking to you for the bonus answers and Wyatt. All right, here we go with our first toss-up for both schools. Carbon has both crystalline and non-crystalline ones of these. Give, all right, uh, blue, Alex. Allotropes. Allotropes is correct. And Alex, you have won your team a bonus entitled, I can flip my pages here, uh, the human body. <clears throat> all right, here we go. Name the body system, system, which contains the following. Brain and spinal cord. Nervous, system. Nervous system. system. Yes. Trachea, lungs, and Respir bronchi. Respiratory. Respiratory system. Yes. Trachea, oh, I did that one, didn't I? Uh, liver, pancreas, and esophagus. Digestive. Digestive. Digestive system. Yes. 
and skin, hair, and nails. Integumentary. Integumentary system. That's correct. So you got all four correct. Uh, nicely done. So that's a total of 20 points plus your 10 points for the toss-up. All right, we're going to continue uh, with both teams now with another toss-up. The vice president, members of and delegates to Congress, certain other officials of Congress, and widows of former presidents are entitled to this privilege. Give the name for the ability to send material through the um, Blue Wyatt. The franking privilege. It is the franking privilege. Very good. All right, and you've earned a bonus for your team called Movies. Movies. Name the 2021 animated movies I'm describing. A warrior princess searches for the fabled uh, last dragon with hopes of restoring the dragon Rhea. gem that would bring back her father. Rhea and the Lost Dragon. Yes. A dysfunctional family winds up having to save the planet from a global robot uprising while on a road trip. The Mitchells and the Machines. No. The title character, a young sea monster boy with the ability to assume human form while on land, explores a town with his new best friend, Al. Luca. Yes. It's versus the and follows a multi-generational Colombian family led by a matriarch whose children and grandchildren, except for Maribel, all receive magical gifts. Encanto. That is absolutely right. And the only one you missed was number two. Uh, the dysfunctional family is Mitchell's versus the machines. But, but you got the other three right. So 25 points all together on that answer. All right, we have two bonuses left. Let's put our hands on our buzzers and try to get the, the toss up right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also known as the double bassoon. Name this uh, blue maidench. Contrabassoon. Contrabassoon is absolutely correct. Do you play the contrabassoon, uh, maidench? Maidench. Do you play the contrabassoon? No. <laughs> I'm just checking. The violin, awesome. Well. That can be contrary to some folks. All right, you've earned a bonus called World Geography. All right. Have, uh, it says to name the wonders of the ancient world that I'm describing. <clears throat> Ornamental gardens planted on the terraces of the ziggurats of an ancient city. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon. That's right. A giant bronze statue of Apollo built in about 292 to 280 BC and destroyed by an earthquake in 225 BC. The Colossus of Rhodes. That's correct. The only one of these seven wonders, which is still largely intact, it is located at Giza near Cairo. The Great Pyramids of Giza. That's correct. Uh, this lighthouse, built during the reign of Ptolemy II, is estimated to have been at least 330 feet high. The Lighthouse of Alexandria. That's correct. Judges, do you agree with me on accepting number three? Okay. Oh, that was just All right, we'll let them work on that. All right, we have one more bonus to go, and let's see uh, who's going to get it with the answer to this toss-up question. A method of visually displaying a distribution of data values where each data value is shown as a dot or mark of uh, blue maidench. Scatter plot. That is not what I have. <clears throat> shown as a dot or a mark above a number line is known as what? Um, Red Emanuel. Dot plot. Dot plot is what I have, and line plot. Those are the two answers I have. All right, are we good? 
All right, so we're moving on to the last bonus. German composers. German composers. Name the composers of these musical compositions. The Well-Tempered Clavier. No. Uh, Fur Elise. Beethoven. Yes. The German Requiem. Bach. No. And uh, Die Valkyrie. Wagner. Yes. And you swapped uh, Bach and Brahms. Uh, the well tempered clavier is Bach, and the German Requiem was Brahms. But you got uh, 10 points out of that, plus your, plus your toss-up, so 20 points for Lifeway. All right, now, that was the last uh, of the bonuses. So that means I'm going to ask you, are there any challenges on the bonus material? None here, none here, okay. So our score at the end of three is Hassel Benton, or at the end of two, excuse me, Hassel Bentonville, 185, and Lifeway Christian, 60. Which means, of course, uh, Lifeway that you'll get to pick first uh, from our categories. All right. And then we'll make our substitutions after we pick. All right, so let's see what we have for y'all to choose from here. All right, you might choose life science. Identify the animal phylum into which each of the following sea creatures are classified. You might prefer literature. Name the U.S. state in which the following novels are set. Or you might want music. Identify the Broadway musical in which the following songs appear. Teams, you have one minute to decide while we take a break. Christina, we're going to go back to you. Thank you, Steve. And while they're making those decisions, we'd like to take a moment and thank some of our volunteers for this morning's matches. Will Heatherly is in charge of registration. Lisa Morrow is the head judge. Rick Klo and Melinda Pitts are also judges. Our all tournament judges are Kelly Webb and Carolyn Schreib. Thomas Sweeten is our scorekeeper and Amanda McMahon is our timekeeper. And those are just a few of the people behind the scenes who are volunteering to make Quiz Bowl 2022 possible. We thank everybody for all their involvement and all of their help. Well, it looks like they are still debating on which categories they are going to choose. So while we have a few minutes, let's hear from a new underwriter for this year's Quiz Bowl, the Arkansas Division of Higher Education. Take a look. We are here with Alicia Lewis with the Division of Higher Education. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Tell us your position there. I am the Assistant Director for Operations and Communications. Wonderful. Now we have had some of the brightest students in the state with us for a Quiz Bowl. So what's some advice as some of these students prepare to go to college? First of all, keep all of your options open. It's very important um, when you're a senior to be thinking about where you want to go to college, your next steps, your future, your major. Keep your options open. Don't, don't turn down scholarships, but never ever discredit a community college. Never discredit staying in state when that is um, in your best interest to do so. Absolutely, and this is the Arkansas Governor's Quiz Bowl. So what kind of things can the state do to help these college-bound students? Well, we provide over 40,000 scholarships every year. We provide the Arkansas Governor's Distinguished Scholarship, which is our most academically rigorous scholarship. Then we also provide the Arkansas Scholarship Lottery. We provide the Our Future, which is for high demand and high wage occupations. And then we also provide Arkansas Workforce Challenge, and some LEO scholarships and military dependent scholarships, like I said, to 40,000 students in Arkansas. Wow, so you really offer a lot for them. They just need to uh, look into it, find out what are those steps kind of that they need to take. Excellent question. You have to apply. 
we we can't just read everybody's mind and know um, and, and give them a scholarship and know to, to send money their way. But if you apply and um, that website has actually changed, it's Sam's dot a d h e dot e d u um, you can apply and of course we're going to be happy to to direct your next steps and tell you all of the information that you have to provide for those scholarships wonderful any final advice for those that are looking at college maybe sooner rather than later it might be right around the corner it for them. could be right around the corner like i said my best advice is just to keep your options open make sure that you communicate with us go onto the website check your account and know what all you're getting into read those scholarship disclosures know that you have to keep 15 hours know that you have to keep a 2.5 GPA. Really be um, an advocate for yourself. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being here. Alicia Lewis with the Division of Higher Education. back and we are ready for round three the lightning round let's go over to our quiz master steve patterson take it away steve round thank you christina oh thank you christina um we are very proud to have our new uh one of our new sponsors the arkansas department of higher education and here in just uh, another year or two or three many of you will be benefiting from their uh, expertise and their help so we thank them uh, this is round three, and those who follow Quiz Bowl know that we're going to put a minute on the clock and uh, give up to 10 questions to these teams. And if they can get all 10 right in the minute, they get a bonus of 20 points. So that's what we always hope for. Uh, but that can be difficult to uh, get all 10 of them correct. All right, um, Lifeway Christian got to pick first of our categories because of the... Uh, being a little behind today. And uh, so they have chosen life science. And then Hassel Bentonville uh, took the, their category, which is going to be music. And so they're both ready to go. Emmanuel's ready to give me answers. Uh, and so here we go. Now speak loudly, Emmanuel. We don't want to have to repeat stuff and use your time up. All right, it says to identify the animal phylum into which each of the following sea creatures are classified. Ready? Jellyfish. Uh, Ixiosurm. Uh, no. Sea urchin. Nidarian. Uh, no. Crab. Crustacean. Crustacean. No. Coral. Doll. All right. Now, Lifeway uh, decided uh, they were having a little trouble with the category, so they have stalled, which means that they've stopped the questions right there. And uh, that way, Hassel won't pick up any extra points that way. All right, but they do uh, have three to pass over to you on, on bounce backs, Harsha. Um, the first one is jellyfish. Yes. Sea urchin. Echnodermata. Yes. Uh, crab. Arthropoda. Yes. And then they stalled on coral, which was uh, Nadaria. Okay. Now we're going to put another minute on the clock for Hassel Bentonville, our blue team today, to identify the Broadway musical in which each of these songs appear. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Don't cry for me, Argentina. Confirm away. No, it's a hard knock life. Annie. Annie. Yes. Uh, sunrise, sunset. Oh, it's an old one. Fiddler. Fiddler on the roof. Fiddler on the roof. Yes, that's right. You're the one that I want. Chicago. Chicago. No. Circle of life. King. Lion King. Yes. Bring him home. It's, it's a war. Um, Music Man. Music Man. Uh, no. 76 trombones. It's the Blue Man Group. Blue Man Group? No. 
Uh, history has its eyes on you. Hamilton. Hamilton. Yes. Uh, I'm not that girl. Oh, wicked. Wicked. Yes. And climb every mountain. Oh, sound of, sound of music. Sound of music. Yes. All right. Well, they did well. Uh, I have that. Uh, they got one, two, three, four, five, six of them correct. And uh, with that leaves four to pass over to you, Emmanuel and Lifeway. Um, do you understand the category? Okay. The first one is Don't Cry For Me, Argentina. Pass. Okay. Uh, the second one is, did they get number three right? Number six is next. Well, what about number four? Number four, which is, you're the one that I want. Greece. Yes. And then number six is bring him home. Oklahoma. No. And 76 trombones. The music man? Yes. All right. So you picked up two there on the bounce backs. Um, Don't Cry For Me, Argentina is called Evita, okay, and then um, Bring Him Home is from Les Miserables, Les Miserables. All right, so that takes us uh, out of that round. Do we have any challenges on that uh, round? None here. We do have a challenge over here. A correction, okay, what is that? Life yes. Well, I'm Jeff trying. Back. I'm finding Dermata, out. Yes. Dermata, not a kind of Dermata. That was on Haas Halls. Yes. And which, which school gave that answer? Haas Hall. Okay, so we're not counting the sea urchin question. Okay, I couldn't hear it very well. All right. Sorry about that, uh, Haas Hall. Our judges have said that we didn't get number two correct. All right, so we'll take uh, 10 points away from uh, Haas Hall. Um, so there is no challenge. Um, but our score at the end of that round is now Haas Hall 265 and Lifeway Christian 80. All right, we're going to take a break. This month on Arkansas PBS. In 1930, Germany was a democracy. Just four years later, Hitler and the Nazis were in control. Every family has family stories. No. I got a chill. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Next time on Antiques Roadshow, these family heirlooms are giving us goosebumps. Every time I look at it, I think of my grandmother. Only on Arkansas PBS. Sustaining membership is an easy, convenient, and affordable way for you to support the programs you love on Arkansas PBS. Sustaining members make an ongoing monthly contribution from either their checking account or credit card. Simply choose the monthly amount that fits your budget and then call or go online and we'll set it up for you. Your donation will happen automatically each month, so your support will always be current. Need to make a change to your monthly gift? Just call or email us. You're always in control. Knowing we can count on a certain amount of revenue each month helps Arkansas PBS better plan for the future. Call or go online to start your sustaining membership right now. This month in Passport on the PBS video app. Be cooking home? You'll find out when our fan favorite chefs are back with me in the kitchen. I want you smothering that. Off we go. An island I'd been told was frozen in time, but is it really? Philadelphia is the second largest Italian community outside oh, of New York. It smells so good in here. Right? These and other shows from Arkansas PBS are available with Passport on the PBS video app.
Hello again, we are back and substitutions have been made, so we are ready for the final round. Let's find out who is going to be our Quiz Bowl 2022 2A state champion. For that, we go to Quiz Master Steve. Back to you. Round four. Well, it's good to be back uh, with uh, these wonderful teams from uh, 2A. And they are fighting uh, here for the 2A state championship. And uh, Holland is in uh, for Hassel Bentonville and Jack. And I think we've seen everyone else at some point in the game. Uh, and then Lifeway's keeping theirs that they have. So I wish uh, good luck to both of you. This round mirrors the first round where we have 20 toss-up questions. And there are 200 points up for grabs. So uh, this is still doable, Lifeway. So uh, let's do our best and see how we do. All right, here in just 20 questions, we'll have a new state champion, so good luck. Here is our first toss-up question. What type of mechanical energy does a body have by virtue of its motion? Uh, Red Emanuel. Kinetic energy. You're right. This type of cloud indicates thunderstorm conditions. Um, and that is going to be Ahalan. Cumulonimbus. You are right, and I'm thankful I didn't have to say that. I would have tripped all over it. But you did well. All right, the next question. The, this ancient system of riding. Uh, okay, blue jack. Cuneiform. You're right. Another one I didn't want to say. Good. All right, we're going to do math computation here to celebrate how well we're doing. All right, uh, an object moves along a straight line so that at any time t from 0 to 9, its position is given by x times the quantity t equals 7 plus 6t squared. What is the particle's velocity at t equals 4? All right, uh, blue Ahalan. 48 minus x? No. Uh, Emmanuel. 14. No, I just have 48. I don't have the other part that you said. Um, all right, we can check into that uh, while y'all are working. Okay, question 35. This narrative form, usually featuring animals that behave and speak as um, Red Emanuel. Fable. Yes. All right, this alloy is harder than copper as a result of combining it with tin. Uh, Red Jackson. Brass. No. Uh, our other metals. Name this alloy, often used uh, blue Ahlan. Bronze. Bronze was what we needed. All right. Name the political party and outgrowth of the strong anti-immigrant. All right, uh, blue uh, Madinch. No nothings. No. Well, more specific. The no nothing party. No. Let me finish for Emmanuel and company. Um, anti-Roman Catholic sentiment that began to manifest itself during the 1840s, which became known as the Know Nothing Party. Uh, Red Asa. The nativist? No, it was the American Party. The American Party. All right, question 38. What deity, the principal goddess of the Assyrians and Bab uh, Red Emmanuel. Asherah. No, and Babylonians was the goddess of love, fertility, and Ahilan. Ishtar. Yes. In a trigonometric graph, what is the distance from the midline of the graph? Uh, blue uh, Maidench. Amplitude. Yes. What type of chemical bond consists of two covalent bonds? Uh, blue Ahilan. Double bond? Yes. All right. 
Very good. Halfway through uh, the fourth round there. All right. Question 41. This man served as vice president under James Madison. Name this man whose term as governor of Massachusetts was known for the division uh, Maidench. Jerry. You're right. L. All right, we've asked, uh, we have a timeout. Each team is allowed a timeout, a 30 second timeout. And so we'll take a short break while they do their timeout. Christina, will you talk to us for a moment about how this match is going? Absolutely, Steve. Well, thank you so much. We bring Linda in with us now. So first your assessment, um, first the timeout. So how many timeouts do they get and how do those work? Each team only gets one timeout per match and that timeout lasts for 30 seconds. It is a time to talk to your team, to make a substitution, or perhaps to let the team know how they're doing. And a lot of times the team is not even aware what's going on be about the score because they're so busy listening to the questions. Sure. And then it gives the other team also the same time out so they can talk to the coach and, and get ready for what's coming up. But they have to be very strategic since they only have one. one. Exactly. Okay, so how do you think this is going so far? I think it's going well. Haas Hall is out in front, but I think Lifeway is making a definite try for a comeback, but we'll see how it turns out. Sure, and it can be so challenging when you're here and it's live and sometimes you know them, but it's just so stressful. So, Steve, let's go ahead and pitch back to you to wrap up the round. Well, thank you, Christina, and uh, welcome back. Um, we're in the middle of our fourth and final round here for the 2A state championship. And uh, here in just a moment, after uh, nine more questions, we'll crown a runner-up and a state champion for these two groups. Um, we're on question 42. This Arkansas-born writer, attorney, and politician writes legal thrillers, which... Um, Blue uh, Maidench. Grisham. Yes. These birds are able to stay aloft in windy weather for hours without ever flapping their extremely long um, blue Wyatt. The albatross. You're right. And now we're going to have a math computation. The questions that we get come from the Arkansas high school curriculum and so we we try to include math and social studies and this happens to be a math question the derivative of a function is 2x if f times 3 or f of 3 equals 5 what is all right um, blue maidens x squared minus 4 no let me finish up. What is the value of f of negative 1? Uh, Emmanuel. Negative 3. That's correct. All right. A little anticipation there, Madage. Needed the rest of the question. All right. Mississippi, Oklahoma, and Utah still allow for this method of execution if all other um, blue ahalan. Electrocution? No. If all other means are unavailable or ruled unconstitutional, name this obsolete method of execution by which Mussolini, <coughs> Matahari, um, Red Austin. Firing squad? That's correct. All right, don't get caught in those three states doing bad stuff. Okay, this musical symbol indicates to sustain a note. Um, Red Austin. Tenuto? No. Uh, okay, uh, Blue Maidens. Legato. No, I needed Fermata. Fermata. All right, what kind of number expresses quantity but not order? All right, uh, Blue Maidens. Scaler. No. Lifeway. 
All right, uh, red Austin. Combination. Now I needed the word cardinal, cardinal number. All right, in physics, the transfer of heat by the circulation or movement of the heated parts of a liquid or gas is uh, red Asa. Convection. Yes. Question 49. This is the name of the largest of the seven constituent emirates which make up the United Arab. Uh, Blue Ahlan. Abu Dhabi. That's right. Math computation. Got 20 seconds on the clock for this. Simplify the expression, the quantity x squared plus 24x plus 143 divided by the quantity x plus 13. Emmanuel. X plus 11. Emmanuel, I could not have done that in 10 minutes, and you did it in about 10 seconds. Very good. Uh, and that was, of course, the last question of the round. Uh, coaches, do we have any challenges? None here. None over here. All right, so our score here at the end of the the match is Hassall Bentonville 365 and Lifeway Christian 140. And that means, of course, that Hassall Bentonville is our 2A state quiz bowl champion. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, we're going to go to Christina and then, then we'll have our trophy presentation. Thank you, Steve. Huge shout out to both teams for doing such a great job today. And as we get ready for the awards presentation, which is coming right up, let's take a moment and meet some kids who we may very well see on this stage in just a few years. Here are the 2022 Quiz Bowl Junior High MVPs. Welcome back. I am here with Carolyn Shry and friends with Arkansas Governor's Quiz Bowl Association. Thank you all so much for being here. And Carolyn, we've got some awards to hand out. Is we that right? definitely do. Yes, indeed. We need to give our second place team today, Lifeway Christian, their check and their big award here. They get to take home, put it in their cabinet you know show everybody how well they did let's hear it for them congratulations you guys 
And only four of you, I'm so impressed. Congratulations, $1,500, that is no small feat. So congratulations to you guys. One more round of applause. <laughs> And moving on now to the yeah, champions. Now to our champions today, we have Haas Hall Bettenville, and they get an even bigger check to take home, as well as a first place uh, trophy, also to put in their trophy case. Let's hear it for the champions. Go. Perfect. And now we also have to award our MVP for today. And our MVP happens to come from right over here, Lifeway Christian, Emmanuel Peter. Round of applause. Congratulations, Emmanuel. Good job. Wow, very good job. Absolutely wonderful to hear. Congratulations to everybody. And um, you also have some other announcements to share, is that right? Indeed, I have to tell about the rest of the All Tournament team. And they include Maxwell St. Ange of Mamel Charter, who actually had a higher average than Emmanuel here. Um, and so he is considered the high point player of this group. Um, we also have Wyatt Corbin over here at Bentonville from Haas Hall <laughs> and Anthala um, Iranian, hopefully that's close, <laughs> from Haas Hall Bentonville, trying at least, uh, Bryce Mallett and Ashley Mallett from St. Joseph in Conway and Drew Cochran, Conway Christian. That's our 2A state all tournament team. Congratulations to all of you. Yes, round of applause for all of you. And that is the end of our 2A presentation. Congratulations to both teams today and to everyone who played in state to get here. Way to go. Absolutely, one more round of applause. Oh, hold on. I almost forgot. We have something new this year. Yes. We are awarding our first place team this banner. Let's take a look at that banner, hold it up. A little more to hang up there and remind people who the champions were this year. One more round of applause for the champs. You guys can display that proudly at your school and tell everybody about what you did. You guys, this is not easy. So a huge congratulations to all of you. One more round of applause for both the runner-up team and the champs as well. Wonderful. Well, congrats to all of you. Thank you so much, Carolyn. And that does it. We have one down, six more matches to go. So stay right here with us on Arkansas PBS. <laughs>